Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel. Let's continue our journey through Darkest Dungeon 2 and I've picked today a party that seems to cover everything that we need. We have our man-at-arms as a tank, we have our highwayman as a damage dealer, we have our jester as a stress healer and finally we have our plague doctor as a simple healer. <laughs> so it feels like it's one of those parties that would work mostly it's a beginning party, just added the stress healer to it. So how will we do? I do not know Precious what to say at the moment. I've upgraded the healing end. on our Plague Doctor and I've also upgraded the Duelist Advance to get for our Highwayman to get that dodge when we do it because we use it a lot. Our party has some interesting on one side there are interesting traits on the other side we also have penalties for it for example we have tactical thinker for our man at arms plus five to crit and there's a 15 percent chance that at the start of the round we would get one of those upgraded dodges we also have vicious we get 10 percent extra damage but there's a 15 percent chance that on attack we will receive vulnerable on our Highwayman, he has a sunny disposition, 20% positive banter, but he's also a blundering fool. Which means that at the start of the combat, there's a 50% chance that he will get vulnerable and minus 2 to initiative. But he, when moving, will receive, a, will have a 25% chance to get 1 damage. So this is a bad rate overall. Then we... But I also unlocked, let me say this, I also unlocked Mortal Ward as a trinket when we are on death's door we either get a crit buff an evasion buff or minus two stress seems like it could help then we have for our jester a hatred of fish folk and he has a fear of cosmic being nothing special there but we found severed finger which is a jester trinket trinket if target has bleeding we do 25% extra damage on it. Slice of skills would do 33% extra chance to bleed, do bleed, apply bleed, but we also receive 33% more bleeding damage. And luckily, I also found this, which is a 66% resistance to bleed. So it seems like they're working well together. I have a trap on him that would apply bleed, and I'm thinking that if we do this, then we would have a better chance to do more damage with the Jester during the same turn. Finally, our Plague Doctor, he's just a, she's just an amateur armor smith, but also has a lazy eye, which reduces some of the damages and the crits on range skills, which she mostly has. We're going towards the Tangle for the extra mastery point. We have to visit no an oasis. We're just gonna jump straight into it. No more talk. War. Rewards only. Resignation. Where are we at? We must keep moving. The oasis is up here. It's parallel to the layer, so we can't go for the layer on this run. Because I do want that master point. I know the layer offers it also. For now, let's just take... Take our turn, see what's gonna happen. We're going to the hospital. Unfortunately, we do not have any relics here. Can I find maybe one or two more? No. We won't have enough coinage to do anything. I was curious of one thing. How much does it cost to remove a reinforced rate? 16. Still 16? Hmm. Or maybe the reinforced rate... Maybe Vicious at level 1 would just give 10 damage and not do the gain on attack 15 vulnerability 
I do not have enough information at this, or not information, but knowledge to figure this out at this point. But maybe we will do in the future. So we have our first battle on an oblivion ingress. Then we have academic studies. We have an unknown shrine. And maybe I'll do another oblivion and we'll go for the lair. The road there seems fairly peaceful, no road battles. Fight and vulnerable, fight or run away. Nope, let's get the fight and give them vulnerable as well. Okay, two annoying cherubs. Applying weakness, a double weakness on us. I will do a slice off to begin with. We've gained blinded there. I will do a duelist advance. Yeah, keep working on the third cherub here. Doing blinding gas would be a good idea. Crush, definitely. So two crits are coming up. He is blinded now for two turns. Super annoying. I'll try to take it. Well done, Jester. A Noxious Blast will apply it on the first line. I'm gonna keep going here. Awesome. So now I could do the point blank shot. Too bad we have this weakness. So the max amount of damage that we could do is 3 to 6. Then I'm gonna just do a Wicked Slice. No point in using that point blank shot on... On a hit that doesn't matter. Man, these crits. Unfortunately, this time they both fit. But what can you do? Sometimes that's how it rolls. We're gonna do a slice off here. I'm gonna take her out if possible. Good. Dismas. Point blank shot once again does not do anything for you. So we'll do wicked slice here. I am going to heal Dismas. The slow suffering begins. Slice off, let's see. Good, we put a blind on the evangelist. I can keep healing. This wound at least has been tended to. And we'll do a slice. Finally, with our man at arms. I'll do a bellow just to remove the cherub's evasion. And if I do a slice of now, should apply a bleed, but he resisted. I feel like at this point his debuffs don't matter anymore. We can do whatever we want. The Black Doctor got a lot of stress, unfortunately. And the only bad thing about that is that she will have like weird banters, right? She will 
ruin the relationship with the rest of the party instead of building it up and it's early game the past is gone a mastery point and flame and we've received a few combat items that might be good the loathing abates adds more herbs to her We'll clear the corpses, sure. Or better yet, let's have clear corpses on our mana at arms. He's the last to act. So they, it will be useful in preparation for the next... For the next round. He's the last to act, he's gonna clear corpses and thus at the beginning of the round we might have our highwayman... Regrettable research. Yes, see, now she's starting to ruin the relation. However, we're in a road battle. And we can do inspiring song now. Good. Uh, how do we want to do this? Remove their initiative. They don't have high initiative. Let's crush. I'll try to take out the lost soul. Our man at arms got him vulnerable there. I could do a blinding gas. And let's do that. Duelist advance. Good. We took out the lost soul. Protect child, okay. He missed. Now everything we apply to the urchin, the woodsman will take it. Okay, well let's do a slice of let's cause some bleeding. An unavoidable end. And we're gonna remove its protection as much as we can. So now he's vulnerable to point blank shot. Come on, this must. Ah, just a simple shot there. If I do slice off, well, we managed to take it out. But effective. And I'll throw another blind on the woodsman. We'll attack it. And finally, a pistol shot to take it out. Or maybe the damage over time. There we go. We stress healed our party. The past is gone. Let it die. We can get 10% resistance to disease and debuffs, but lose some resistance to stunning with this trinket and I think I do like that I will put it on our plague doctor there we go this on camp study academic so studies here does it not? who do we want a quirk on I guess I'm gonna risk it on our plague doctor Dark Curiosity, that's not bad, and only lost one health, but we got a flammable and noxious combat item. And what we're going to do is add it to the Highwayman. A Hero Shrine! I've been looking for one of these for a while now, I want to use it on our Jester. I want those extra skills as soon as we can. I know the rest of the parties might have even better skills later on, but let's balance it out. We need to have people be as viable to different combinations as possible. The accursed, that accursed melody was a trap beyond all cunning. Sure. 
Chester. Chapter one. Some strange melody. He was a layabout without aspiration or purpose, content to loiter on street corners, languidly busking for passers-by. Roughly ushered from the bustling commercial blocks, he wandered the forgotten corners of the city. An intoxicating melody drifted over a nearby cemetery wall, and he stumbled deliriously amongst the tombstones in search of the performer. Doesn't he look like Axel? <laughs> Seems like that is the idea. Play out. So you're in position, you move one step back and you get some protection. That doesn't seem like that useful of a skill. I, I guess he is quite vulnerable. If we upgrade him, if we upgrade the skill, he will get the upgraded protection and it would remove the combo trinket. That doesn't seem like a useful skill to me. They all want to go towards the question mark. Destiny will not be denied. I don't know what's here, but there will be two road battles up going up to the lair. If we go to the left, there will be no road battles, but we would have the Oblivion Ingress. To be honest, I don't think I'll listen to the party on this one. Come on, five stress, good. So we can start with an inspiring tune and remove your stress. Okay. No one gives us a buff, but we will fight them. So we have two heralds and two evangelists. And we started with Vulnerable on Dismas. Well, let's do Duelist Advance. Let's play as per usual. A slow suffering begins. Quite a bit of stress, but nothing that we can't handle. Inspiring tune on our Plague Doctor. There she is. And if I throw, let's throw two blinding gases. Here, good. There's a small chance that they'll miss, and we've managed to win it. Haste and carelessness, all marks of the unprepared. I'm gonna try a point blank shot here. Unfortunately, we've missed with our plague doctor. Let's do an ounce of prevention here. Cooperation is the key. As the Herald might be doing this. And it still hit us. The nocturnal com communes coming up. Meaning crits. I'll do a slice off. Took one herald out. Good. Uh, I will do a defense. I will defend Dismas. Right. It's mostly for the reduced damage there. And then I'm gonna do. I could do a pistol shot here. Or better yet, try to get some... Sure. Let's attack the first one. Get the dodge in. Steady yourself. Good. A good start there. Inspiring tune on our men at arms. So bad when those hit. Let's do bolster here. And 
and I will heal. Sure. With you. I'll throw a blinding gas once more. But he didn't. Oh, no, he did. Good. Slice off, sure. We're blinded there. I'm not sure what happened here. I mean, it doesn't seem like we should have taken this much damage, but I guess we just did. A miscalculation, perhaps. More stress. He's almost on meltdown. It's good that we can do inspiring tune. Steady yourself. Yeah, definitely a lot of damage. Not what I would expect. I will try to do a bolster here. Duelist advance, sure. A, a crit, but he didn't die. Steady yourself. Eight bleed. Sure, we, we definitely need to heal a few people. I'll do medicinal herbs to remove the bleed on the men at arms. They're ruining their relations there. Okay, now it worked. With the men at arms, let's try to go for the Herald. Inversion, what is that? Convert weakness, 99 weakness, vulnerable or blindness to their opposite. Okay, well I'll try a slice off here. Now I'm really hoping that they will die. Point blank shot. One died. Who are we healing? Let's take, make sure he doesn't a damage us. Is a lesson learned. <sighs> this is not a good start for a lair run. The past is gone. Let it die. So I am going to go through the layer, see what we could do. Okay, there's two, there's a trap there. And instead of the corpses, we're gonna take more medicinal herbs. Okay. It's very unfortunate that we've reached that level of stress. Trust you have calculated your odds carefully. This will not be easy. There's more fights coming up. Plenty more fights coming up. This is a den of absolute evil and wretchedness. Prepare I've yourself. Stir the enemies. Not something that we needed, especially with the drummer. Dr these guys can reach the third lines and they can be very annoying. Okay, we... They've decided to taunt us. We're gonna use some bolster here. Healing, throw some heals, announce some prevention. Let's have some heals.
I'll do a Duelist Advance. Inspiring Tune could be useful here. Let's do that on Dismas. Though maybe it would be better to just start causing some damage. Sure, we'll do a slice off here. Point blank shot would be interesting. I'm going to throw this otherworldly fragment in the back. I'm gonna try to take the drummer out if possible. If he is the last one to leave, you know he's gonna cause us a lot of problems. We'll do defender, sure. Get two. Protection. And we're gonna heal the men at arms here. Bleeding debuffs are stacking up on him. Don't they have like a bleeding skill or something? Let me do a quick check here. Marching orders. More initiative. Analysis is yeah, I can't see his second attack. I'll do... Yeah, sure, we'll do an inspiring tune here. I am going to keep healing the man at arms. Duelist Advance, sure, we'll do that. I could attack in order to heal. Could do a bellow. Could do bolster as well. Or we could just... Let's throw a defense. Once again, get some reduced damage. Now we don't have heals anymore. Why didn't he take any kind of damage there? I wonder. Okay, so the drama is out. That is a good thing. I will do... I'll just do an attack here, just for the little heal that it provides us. A slice off for the bleed, but he resisted. And I can do a noxious bla blast, and yeah. If he targets... and he's gonna target someone, right? Yeah. Inspiring Tune. Or... How do we do this? Let's throw a trap. And then I'll do a slice off here. Seven bleed. I can do a point blank shot. Also gave him a combo trigger. But now they'll be acting. So he might die. We're going to try to kill him. Ah! Steady yourself. Oh my heart, dude. <laughs> A 
Nico, was it you that said that you can't really take this game because you'll have a heart attack? That's how I feel right now. Come on. We can do this. Duelist advance. In firing two. No, why don't they die? No setback. Nothing more. They're still not dead. The work continues. It is amazing how a party that you think really works well together, that doesn't seem like it would have any kind of weakness, has plenty of weaknesses. And I'm not sure if it's because of their quirks, like the debuffs that we're getting, vulnerable and all that. It doesn't seem like it applied themselves that often. But we can definitely not do... We, we can't do we can't go further into the layer it would have been a death sentence at this point I am thinking there is only one save for us we're we would go and reach the next inn str stress heal our entire party and maybe afterwards look we can you lose some hope we'll lose some hope here. But they get a better relation, so they became hopeful here. There's a chance, a bigger chance of negative banter, but as long as we get to the inn, I think we might be good. Now the true test starts. Another one of these battles, and I'm guessing we're going to have one of those huge enemies. No, we actually didn't. Okay. We have a chance here to do well. Let's not mess it up. Steady yourself. First of all, we need to take the two elements in the back. We need to take out the altar first of all. And then we need to take out the cherub. I know inspiring ballad would be necessary somehow, but this is more important, I feel. A double attack there, beautiful, and we took out the altar. So that is a great start for us. Heal the man at arms or throw. Let's try to throw blinding gas to remove his dodge. Okay. A point blank shot doesn't seem like it's really a good idea. Let's try to take the second evangelist out. I'll do an inspiring tune. We will also heal our man at arms. And then the man at arms will cast. I should do a bellow. Let's do a bellow here. Remove some of their initiative. But look at that. Two vulnerable pips. Because we've hit multiple targets, is that why? So again on attack, 50% chance to get the vulnerable and because we've hit... We attacked four targets, we got a roll of 15 on two of them. Meaning two vulnerable. That is such an ugly debuff. Sure, let's continue. Battlefield medicine sure would be good. Blinding gas would be good as well. 
But I guess battlefield medicine is the first thing. This wound at least has been tended to. And I am going to do a defender here. So much stress. Okay, we could heal or at this point let's throw a noxious blast we've missed I am going to try to hit but we've missed Let's do the inspiring tune and we'll do it on us as a jester because we are the closest to breaking. The slow suffering begins. More terror point blank shot or wicked slice. Who's the first to act? The second one. Well, I'll try to see if we could take it out and reduce the damage. Nope, just death's door. Jester slice off. Good. And I am going to heal the men at arms once more. With a bit of a crush. Man, those crits land during this playthrough. Deliberate and methodical. Of harm. We've got created so much during this game. Every road oh. must end. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm just disappointed, I guess. Bolster? Sh sure. Let's do bolster here. What difference does it make, right? At least we're close to the end and we'll get another party member. Something to look on for. And they just don't want to die. Good, inspiring tune. So we managed to do another stress heal there. And now he's doing a crit. We will see them again. I am sure of it. Okay, well. Respite within reach. So far, so bad. <laughs> we need to, to figure out what is our next plan from here on out. But as I said, it's mostly stress, stress relief and we are going to put together another party. Let's just take a look at what are we going to work with next. Dark Curiosity, we know about. Tuckered out, if under 50 HP, minus 10% damage. Slippery, if under 75 HP, 20% chance to get a dodge, that is cool. Master of Shroud advantages. Heal to 25% on entering region, two strength. Come on! <laughs> We have Audrey as a grave digger or grave robber. Can she do second line? She can actually. Well, at least that is good.
I'm gonna remove flashing daggers and give her the dead of the night. And as far as trinkets go... I don't want to give her any of these, but I will give her these ones. <sighs> okay, well, how do we make this work? Quickly when survival demands it. More stress relief. And slice off. Getting the extra blight in would be good. An ounce of prevention would also be good. I guess going for bolster is one thing. And defender upgrades would be interesting. What do we want? More damage or more defense? Let us do defense. We have some vulnerable party members. Good. Then that is our party. Fair, but fairly priced. I see no items that we would really need, except for the stress relief ones. I would like to get some extra food as well. Something to ease the rigors of the road. Now let us see, how do we split this up? Slime mold I'm not gonna feed to anyone, I don't want any kind of weird disease. Does anyone have, is anyone close to forming a bond? It's here, okay. Not that much. I mean there was a bond, but... Unfortunately, he died. Then we're gonna sp spread it around the way we can. Fire resistance. I guess I will put it on the Jester. Playing cards. Apparently they didn't really create a good relation there. Nope. Clear all corpses, sure we'll do that. This bleeding resistance doesn't seem that necessary. Or maybe, let's put the bleeding resistance on his turn. And clear corpses on the grave robber. She has good traits. Lightning reflex. Oh, she has vicious. Another one with vicious. We are really not rolling well today. Everywhere in ruin. Everywhere. Avoid the watchtower in order to get. Positive banter and minus 33% flame drain. Sure. We're going towards the shroud. The timbers of the coastal villages are sodden with salt. Meditative. Okay, we have a 67% chance to remove a quirk. On him it would be good. On Everybody needs it. Let's try to do it on our mana times. And he got Vicious removed. Do I want to remove 50 damage from him? No, I do not. Okay. Well, this is all the time that we have for today. We are prepared for another journey tomorrow. And I don't know what to say about this party. I really thought I had it there. I really thought they would be good. Turns out, it didn't happen. Until tomorrow, I thank you very much for watching and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.